And the first card is the wishbone, which says a wish is granted. So something coming your way. Uh, there could be a reconciliation as well going on. So if you've had a falling out with somebody, it looks like there's an apology coming in for you there. Maybe that's what your wish is really at the moment. Now, it seems like you're going to be starting a new career or a new job. Uh, and that's with the pin card coming. So something brand new coming in for you. But definitely a wish being granted there. Now, in the past, you've got the ear. So some good news coming in. And this probably this is the wish that is coming in that is being granted. And there's victory in whatever endeavors that you have been doing as well in the past. Now, going into the future, you've got the apple, so temptation will test you. So there's some kind of dilemma that you will be facing. You have to make some kind of decision. So be researched up and, uh, you know, don't um, wing it. Don't rush into things. Make sure that you take things carefully. Consider all the facts first before you make any kind of decision. And you've got the dagger, which is worries and fears and a tense situation. So you're very stressed out, it seems, about something, uh, maybe even starting this new job. But you just relax because everything is going to go uh, work out pretty fine because a wish is being granted there to you. So those are the energies for that month. So I'm going to use the Tarot Mucha for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Hanged Man there. You've got the High Priestess and um, the Lover's Card, as well as the Queen of Pentacles. So you're coming from a position where you are pretty much financially stable. You're in some kind of position where you're managing resources, managing people, earning a reasonably uh, good salary there. Uh, you know, And it seems like uh, you know, you're able to afford the things that you want to buy. There's some kind of big choice coming in for you. It's a life-changing decision. Make sure that you think about things very carefully before you make this decision. So a big change coming in, possibly on that work front. There might be an option to actually study uh, with this High Priestess card next to it, because she holds the keys of knowledge. You can see she's got a book open over there. There's also some kind of information that you do do need to research uh, to find the answers. People are not talking at the moment, so you're not getting information from anybody else. There's a choice you can see in the background over there. Um, so you have to make quite a big decision. You might be waiting for things to come to light as well with that uh, hangman card. You may have sacrificed quite a bit to get this uh, you know, where you are at the moment. But with both these cards, this High Priestess card as well as this Lover's card, it's talking about choice, big decisions that need to be made, but you do need to be researched up as well. And like I said, there could be an option for you to study further as well. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Tower card coming in over there and the King, uh, the Knight of Cups. So it looks like there might be a new job offer for you coming up that's going to change everything. Uh, with the Tower, it's big shifts. So big, dramatic events that happen uh, that clear the boards of all the energy that's been going on and a new offer coming in for you over there. So um, it's definitely to do with work and you will receive some kind of news. And it's a really, really sweet offer that comes in there for you. You've been sorting through a lot of problems, maybe dealing with a lot of people with that seven off rods there. Um, and uh, you've got... Uh, this temperance card over here so trying to get your balance back trying to get yourself um, back on on course again uh, it seems that's what you've been doing also maybe you've been going through a phase where you're looking out for your help quite a bit over there and may, there might be a lot of people giving you some advice um, so this is also about you know trying to take that plunge or taking that leap of faith in a sense because she's dipping her, her feet in the water there um, but keeping yourself you know emotionally stable so you've been dealing with a lot of people um, and you know just trying to just keep your head above water if you like with that uh, temperance card over there now you seem to have been putting out a lot of application forms or applications for jobs over there and you're waiting for some kind of payout to come in or you're waiting for some kind of reward to come from all these applications that you've been putting in and it looks like there's somebody that's going to give you an offer as well and it's going to allow you to make a brand new start you've got that ace of cups over there so starting afresh maybe even buying a new home or moving 
overseas and starting a job there. But definitely, uh, you know, after going through a lot of emotional turmoil, uh, you're now starting to get things sorted out. And this is a brand new start coming in for you there. And there will be some news about that as well. So this new offer comes in and allows you to move on or start afresh somewhere else. You are certainly leaving this old situation moving on. You've got that Ace of Cups. So this is, could be an overseas move for you over here, taking that rod, which is all your experience, and moving on, leaving behind uh, the old. So this is about all the people that you used to know in the past. You're leaving them behind and moving forward. Um, also, all this responsibilities and burdens and, and, and problems that you've been facing are now coming to an end with that Ten of Rods. In the new position that you get, make sure that you don't overextend your resources and you know look out for your health as well uh, because stress can be uh, something that can uh, you know have an, a knock-on effect on ha health-wise as well. Now, you're waiting for some legal news or you maybe you're waiting to sign new contracts. So this is uh, what you are trying to focus. This is the thing that you fear. But some news will come in uh, about this new job. So you will be getting some legal sort of news or official kind of news uh, with regards to work. And this could possibly be about signing new contracts. You're very stressed out. You've got the nine of uh, rods there. So you're not sort of nine of swords. So you're not actually sleeping well at night. You're thinking, or expecting the worst case scenario. And you needn't do that because you've got the judgment card over there. And this is calling for a change in direction. So you are moving on in a new avenue, you know, towards something brand new uh, you're making a big change in your life and with that towel clearing out the energy over there that's the first card so the universe is directing you as to where to go and you have all the facts at hand it's just about making that decision and moving on you will leave behind this old home that you are at and move on to something brand new also maybe leaving behind old friends and moving on to something new so you've got go new goals in mind a new career path that is coming opening up for you and an ending of an old situation so you're leaving behind the old with that eight and that ten as well leaving behind people that you used to know and you're going to make a brand new start meeting new people uh, setting up home somewhere else and starting a fresh somewhere else and this could also be about even starting a new course of study as well with that ace of cups I'm going to just draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the Oracle Read. So you've got the Three of Water. So this is celebration. And this is uh, a need to also have some fun. But also with that Three of Cups, it's about making new friendships and celebrating good news that comes in. So whatever this is, offer is, it's going to be good news. And, you know, you're going to be celebrating it um, as well. You've got the Magician card over here. So you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest. Life is magical. So you're going to be pretty busy soon. This is a card ruled by Mercury. A lot of intellectual work and a lot of hands on a lot of communication a lot of networking uh maybe meeting having to meet a lot of deadlines multitasking but really really busy uh, and you've got uh, the queen of fire over here so stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself assert your independence and create creativity now this new job could be something overseas with that queen of fire as well as all these water cards here uh you know starting afresh somewhere else and that position of that you uh take on it's going to be one of authority and you need to act with confidence you are somebody that people want to listen to or they want to follow um and you are uh, you need to as they say assert your independence and creativity and act with confidence um, because you're a very intelligent person and you're able to uh, you'll be able to manifest everything that you set your mind to especially with that magician energy there um, you know uh, the, everything will start opening up for you um, as if by magic so it's a very lucky period uh, and so don't be scared you're leaving behind the old but moving on and you need to act with confidence um, and don't be negative about things and try not to stress out as well. So uh, I do hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.